welcome welcome to a new video and if you are new here hey how are you welcome and i hope you like it here and you click the subscribe button to become part of this family now if i'm all but a goodie i love you i appreciate you and thank you for coming back so today i'm bringing you a video titled to the power of now yes the power of now what do i mean by the power of now i mean the power of moving now doing what you need to do now and in this video i'm going to be focused more on you moving now you doing the things that you need to do at this moment you stop procrastinating stopping to 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 leave things for for a later time for a later day and most importantly moving when god says move now if you are like me and your whole life and your entire being is solely dependent on god you know that god does things at his own time god does not do things when we want him to do things he does not do things when it suits me when he suits the economy when he suits the situation that you are in when you need him to do it no god needs to do things when he needs to do them okay god does things when he wants to at his own time when the time is perfect according to him isaiah 60 verse 22 it says when the time is right i the lord your god will make it happen not when the time is right for you but for god according to god when everything that god needs in place is already in place when all the ducks are in the row that's when god does what he wants to do now i want to give you an example of when god did things when he wanted when 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 he wanted to do them in the book of exodus we look at the life of the children of israel now the children of israel were in slavery for so many years and they have been crying because when god meets moses he said i have had the cries of my people that means that they have been crying so god had had the cries of the people and god had chosen this exact time to come and help the people so when god came and he wanted to help he called moses to say you go and rescue my people from that situation now i want you to be aware that whenever god wants to do something he will certainly bring somebody into your life he will certainly open a certain door open a certain interaction bring a certain friendship in order to steer up what he wants to do and in this case god was using moses to steer up what he wanted to do in the lives of the children of israel so he sent Moses to Pharaoh and he had Moses confront Pharaoh about letting his people go. But when Pharaoh was hesitant, God took over. God took over. God came into that picture and he started to do things to create miracles that were supposed to work and convince him pharaoh to let the people go that were showing pharaoh that you know what these people it's time to let them go that we're gonna convince pharaoh to let the people go there was an issue of the locust there was an issue of the water turning red and then the 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 final you know the final what should i say the final performance the final thing that god did is god killed all the first bonds of egypt all the first ones in the entire egypt were killed including pharaoh's first born. so that's when pharaoh's heart let go of the peoples of israel that's when pharaoh got convinced that you know what maybe it's time for me to do this one day you to know that when god says go it means it's go time it's it's not about what the economy looks like it's not about what my life looks like it's not about what is happening in the situation it's not about whether they are hiring or not when god says go to a certain place it means go to a certain place and it needs you to be proactive it needs you to act at that moment when you act at that moment god has already released the grace the favor and people to come and help you god has already put all measures in place he has already taken care of whatever obstacle that you might face when you are doing that so i want you to be encouraged out of god that as you are going through life as you are maneuvering through whatever you are maneuvering through just know that when god says move it means that it's quote time when god says now it means that it's time to go now it means that you should 
put it in your heart you should purpose it in your heart that you know what i have received a word from god and i need to move now it does not matter what the world is saying it does not matter what the economy is looking like it does not matter whether saying the sponsorships have closed or whatever or they're not sponsoring you know comebacks they're not sponsoring this it does not matter what matters is the fact that God said go and whenever he says go it means he has already prepared the way he has already prepared destiny help us he has already released the grace he has already released the favor and you won't need to suffer you will not even need to suffer so learn to be proactive learn to move when God says move and above all know that we are not doing this according to our capabilities or is because we are too prayerful or anything thing is because we have laid our lives down for God now if you learn to lay your life down for God and trust in him and know that I cannot go anywhere without him I cannot do anything without him that's when God will also move for you now thank you so much for watching this video I hope you liked it I hope you enjoyed it and um, you know what I was just I was just moved to come and say this to you. I was just moved to come and encourage somebody that, you know what? When God says now, God means now. It does not mean later. It does not mean tomorrow. It does not mean when the time is right according to you. It means God wants you to move right at this moment. And it's time to move. Have the now faith, child of God. Have the now faith. Have the faith to move now and to know that God can change your situation just like this. God can change your situation less like this. We have seen it so many times in the Bible. Another day, a man is a prisoner. The following day, he's the prime minister. God does amazing things, people of God. God changes things around in no time. So I want you to know that when God says now, God means now. It means he has prepared the way. He has released the grace. Everything is in point. Just needs you to be proactive and to move in the direction that God wants you to move in. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it has encouraged you. I hope your spirit is, you know, your spirit is just activated and you are excited to do what you need to do in this coming week so thank you so much for watching and i know that you liked it and bye guys bye guys i've been forgotten to do my outros guys i've been away for so long <laughs> thank you so much for watching now go follow me on all socials my name is mrs tlc on all socials y'all TikTok, Facebook, your Instagram. It's just Mrs. TLC. Now go follow me on other socials. And thank you so much for your time. I love you.